Hey everyone, Odie here, and today we'll be using Dark Harvest Seraphine AP Carry. Now, Dark Harvest is a rune that got buffed recently, and it's kind of fun, and it's going to be able to do some serious one-shot potential burst to Fiend. This game also has some crazy plays that happen as well, and some really weird interactions, so stay tuned and watch till the end. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'm really trying to hit 7,000 subscribers by the end of August. Thank you so much, and please enjoy the video. Here are the runes I'm taking for this game. These are the standard Dark Harvest Seraphine runes. It's not an approved build, but it's a very fun build. We're going to be going Ludens, Companion, and Shadow Flame. Since we're starting level 1 with an E, and we're going Dark Harvest, always try to invade with this build, because you want to get a free stack of Dark Harvest if possible. Play the game like normal. Try to push for level 2. It's all about getting level 2 first. It applies more pressure. Grass people, great. Some cheap shot, you do some extra damage. And just do your best to harass. Ash is a great support of Seraphine. All of your E's will become roots. Mana flow ban is up, always try to harass with them. When it's down, save your mana. Just keep farming. Level 3, get W. It's all about playing patience and getting into those item spikes. We see a Moomoo coming. Feel free to walk it in, just don't make it too obvious. You know Milio's no flash. And get that Dark Harvest proc. Do some good damage, but the build takes a little bit to get going. It definitely shines after the first item. Jinx is caught. She's by herself. Don't be afraid of her. Double Q auto. This Ash is amazing. We'll take any kill. When enemies are dead, hard shove the wave, and then look for a reset. Work for that lost chapter first, and keep hunting down those Dark Harvest stacks. It's all about looking for Dark Harvest stacks. It's a fun build that stacks and scales indefinitely. So take advantage of it. Enemies dead, focus the wave first, then take towers. Double Q for wave clear. Kassin shows up. We cannot fight this guy. He's level 6 already, just let your support die, it's okay, don't get mad if they t tilted at you or anything, just chill. Double Q ready, keep clearing waves. Watch how we're just playing patient. E, Q, Q. Make some prio, can reset, get a lost chapter. Go back to lane. We have ult ready, and go in for a play. We have several stacks of Dark Harvest, hold spells, have kill combo ready, QQ auto, and be patient. Now they're low enough that we can ult. Unfortunately, Cleanse gets already encounters us. But we can keep walking, do some nice damage, and get Melio. However, yeah, I did not expect their whole team to show up here. My bad for Kassim, he keeps roaming. My fault. Hard shove. And keep scaling. Walk mid, can be shoved. Pick up a kill. We'll take it. Who said kill something's bad, right? Hard shove. Look for your options. We have a lot of farm. Q the wave. We do nice damage with just QQ. And just be annoying. Get those stacks of Dark Harvest ready. The more bursts we get early on, the better we'll be late game. Ult! Miss. Take tower plates, and move on. So close for Milio, but we'll take its extra stack. Camille must have 100% teleported bot lane. Their whole team is literally bot lane the entire game. We are super popular. So about as long as possible, but not enough. Get our Ludens, back to lane. Now we're going to do some nice burst and wave clear. Take those tower plates, look for your objectives. We're going to roam up, catch mid wave. Swap over our Silas for a bit. Walk up for a fight, kill combo ready. Fire it off. Keep getting those Dark Harvest stacks. It's very fun to start bursting people down. And the more stacks we get, the easier it is to burst. Double Q again the wave clear. E, Q, Q, best way wave clear. Reset. Keep going. Shadow Flame's our second item. Enhances our burst. It makes our Dark Harvest do even more damage. There we go. TP. Clear wave. I don't know where Kassadin is. I don't know if he resets, so I'm just going to relax. It's okay to just wait a tower until it's safe. 
They think they're gone. Then shove. And then back off. Be really quick about it. You don't want to make any mistakes. Reset. Go back to lane. We're gonna take this bot tower. Get our farm. QQ. A lot of gold. Take the tower. So you keep going and the enemy's all missing. We're pretty strong. And we'll prep for this like, crazy play. And, well, I have no idea what happened there. Small indie company. No idea how that can happen in this game. Silas comes in, gets a free kill. Let's just take another tower. I'm going to speed it up for you all. Move on to the next objective. Next tower would be mid lane or top lane. Help your team get the mid or top lane. Position the back line. Just play it slow. Our blues are all up. Hold EE. -E. Wait for a good angle. Fire it off. A little too tanky for us to burst. This build is better against squishier teams. You could also argue Blackfire Torch could be really good too. Enemy is chasing us. The moon was here to back us up. We're thinking about going back in. Wait for it and get some stacks. Dark Harvest keeps procking every time we get a new kill. So we can get a bunch of stacks in that fight. We got two stacks. With that, teleport down mid. Work on the next tower. Again, play in the back line. Just do annoying burst and annoying poke. We're at the point where now we can start one-shotting people with our combo. Just wait for Shadow Flame. Very close. Look for an angle to reset. Amelia says nope. Ult ready. I say ult flash. E Q Q. Get us never stack. We're at 10 stacks now in 19 minutes. It's okay. I think again Blackfire Torch could be better to get more stacks. But I'm not sure yet. Prep Dragon. Sit in the back line. Again, watch him in the back line, not using any abilities. Staying on kill combo. And looking for farm first. Ooh, that's kind of small. So close. After you get farm, then you can look for next objective, which be Baron or top farm. Just keep looking. Camille's looking to fight us. Watch my positioning in this fight. This is very important. Watch how I'm playing this. Keep kiting, stay in the back line, procking as many abilities as I can. Get all the Dark Harvest procs. One shot. One shot. And I get one shot. Three Dark Harvest axe. A lot of damage. Pretty fun. Silas just wants to keep fighting. Just play slow. It's all about being patient. Get our objective, get Baron. And shove mid or top. Ideally, we want to shove top lane here. But our entire team is going mid. So just stay mid. Ideally, we want to take the top tower first. Just to take one at a time the objectives. But it's okay. We're very fed. We do a lot of damage. Camille flanks. Thin the back line. Ult. E. QQ. Massive burst. Stay behind your allies. Also, you haven't already? Join my Discord. Great place. Learn how to play Seraphine. A very nice educational community. Take objective. Take the inhib. Just play in the back line. Overall, this build's pretty fun. There's a lot of burst. I don't suggest it in a serious mindset. Maybe play it in ARAM or in norms. But even in this ranked game, it felt pretty good. I want to thank everybody for watching so much. I want to thank my members for supporting me and my content. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. We're going to reach 7,000 subs by the end of August. I really appreciate your support. Bye-bye.